Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Um, what I'm about to say, it's a bit of a shame that I have to say it, but I do have to say it because I've noticed increasingly that there are racist statements being written down, insults and all sorts. And I don't understand why that is necessary. In case you don't realise, this is a black centred channel and it caters for black people as a result. So I have no issues with anybody watching this channel, but I would like whoever decides that they are going to watch this channel, that they do so and treat it with respect. If you don't like black people, don't waste your time sitting looking at a black face only to criticize and insult. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sure you could be doing something more worthwhile with your time. So this isn't a pantomime. This is a, a channel that is out there to help people who need it. If you don't need it, don't watch it. But don't watch it just out of curiosity and to pick holes. Anyway, today's video is about the Home Office and how we, they're a law unto themselves. You know, when we hear about the Home Office or the UK Border Control, we tend to believe that they have the last word. We don't stop to think that there is someone higher than them. But in life, there's always somebody who we're all answerable to, regardless how, of how high we are. Anyway, with the Home Office, they are making all these rules. They've come out with this new no warning rule, which means they can deport people without giving them a warning and without allowing them access to justice. And what's happened is the High Court um, has now put a stop to it. They've actually stopped some deportations from going ahead. I don't know when this came out, but I'm going to show you the video in a minute. They actually stopped some deportations and they want to make sure that the individuals have had uh, fair access. They're being treated fairly and they have some access to the law, to their legal rights. And like I said, regardless of whether you're legal or illegal, everyone has rights. Not because you're illegal, you, you feel as though your rights are usurped. But what the Home Office is making them feel, they're making them feel as though they don't have rights because they've done something wrong, because they've overstayed. Anyway, let me show you this video. They gated the option to put his case. In a different scenario, a Jamaican immigrant who had been residing lawfully in the United Kingdom for years was imprisoned with no reason. He struggled for weeks to collect the satisfactory proof of his right to live in the United Kingdom and he barely dodged being put on a deporting flight. Legal representatives for the charity stated that the massive majority of those aimed had no time to arrange proof or pleas which they were allowed to hand out to the officials and the magistrates before an urgency to deport them. Charlotte Kilroy QC, for the charity, mentioned the rule was a blatant intrusion with the right to pursue rightness and amounted to a risk to the decree of regulation. She further stated that the rule is hardwired to create a condition where there's no approach to fairness in relation to the verdict the Secretary of State puts together. There is a major possibility that if temporary support is not permitted, immigrants will be deported with no recommendation to the courts. The situation now. The Home Office's usual deportation command continues to be legal implying officers can even try to deport alleged unlawful immigrants, as long as they are providing an exact date of when it would occur. Legal representatives for the Home Secretary mentioned to the Court of Law that the removal notice window rule had been announced to stop migrants using last-minute efforts to interfere the deportation under the usual practice. But verdicts against the rule and stopping its practice, Mr. Justice Walker stated anxieties elevated by the charity indicated there had to be a complete assessment in the summer of whether the rule was legal. Greeting the verdict, the charity said, refusing tremendously defenseless migrants access to magistrate on this mammoth extent is a suppressed concern causing acute damage on jeopardizing life. Yeah, so when people are de detained um, pending deportation, they're supposed to be given a three days notice. I don't think they know that. And also, 
they are supposed to have access to justice. They're supposed to be able to plead their case. They're not given that opportunity. So that's why I said the Home Office is a law unto themselves. And, you know, whether it's the UK border force or the immigration offices or the people in those detention centres, they are not allowing these people access to their rights and access to due process. And that is that is a problem. So the High Court is on it. Apparently, they stayed some deportations. They actually brought one person who they had deported back. And they are looking into it to see if the process is being conducted um, lawfully. The thing is with the Home Office and um, the UK immigration, as far as they're concerned, they have targets to meet, even though they say they don't. And they just want to get people out as quick as possible. And if they can get them out on the hush hush, all well and good. They don't like people interfering. They don't like people. They've got this charity. I was trying to find out what the charity's name is. That's representing overstayers and making sure that those who are detained pending deportation are having their needs met and are able to access their rights. So, but I can't find the name of that charity. And in that video, they didn't mention it. They just said the charity. So I don't know who it is. So you might be able to Google it and find out who the charity is so that if you do know somebody who may be in detention pending deportation, you can let them have that information, especially if you feel as though they're being treated wrongly and they haven't been given a fair shot at pleading their case. Um, I'm not going to harbour on, I'm not going to lay one for too long. I just wanted you to know that um, this is going on, the Home Office, they you know, the thing is with the Home Office, we do feel as though they have the last say. If if somebody comes from the Home Office, you say whatever they say goes. And we really don't think about anybody else, them being answerable to anybody else. So at least we know that the High Court is answerable. They're answerable to the High Court. We've got the Law Society on our side. We have the Law Commission on our side. And, you know, when all of these things come together, we should have a fair process. We're always going to have those people who try to defy the law. I mean, the irony is, is that they're blaming um, the undocumented for being criminals and for not abiding by the rules and the laws. And they're doing exactly the same thing. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. If they are not following the rules and they're being deceitful and deceptive, they're doing exactly the same thing as what they're arresting and kicking people out of the country for. Ooh. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.